everyone, you're watching RTT News. I'm Sarah Kajumko, and here's your morning political update for Tuesday, March 2nd. As the dust settles in Chile following the weekend's massive earthquake, the government has become aware of just how much aid it needs. This comes after an initial statement that the country refused outside help. Officials are now asking for generators, water filtration equipment, and field hospitals. In the U.S., new data shows several Toyota Camrys that missed the recall list also showed a number of acceleration problems. James Lentz, president of U.S. Sales, reminded a congressional panel last week that several other car makers also had complaints of speed problems. Toyota currently legs forward in complaints, but the Japanese cars have experienced more accidents. Meanwhile, North and South Korea met this morning to talk about their joint industrial factory. The talks focused on easing border crossings, communication, and custom clearances for South Koreans who travel for work to a factory in the north. The meeting comes just days after the North fired artillery toward the disputed sea border. And the president of Russia called for athletic officials to resign after what he says was a dismal performance at the 2010 Winter Olympics. The Minister of Russian Sports, Tourism and Youth Policy offered to quit after the criticism. Russia brought home three golds, four silvers and six bronzes to finish 11th in the Games. There's your morning political update for Tuesday, March 2nd. I'm Sarah Kajumko. Stay logged on to RTTNews.com for more news updates throughout the day.